Hello, and thank you for watching this Dawson Tools instructional video for the DDM450 series, Auto Ranging Compact Digital Multimeters. The DDM450 series takes on the same compact shape and size of the 420 series, but adds powerful new features like auto ranging and TRMS capabilities. These professional grade meters are excellent for just about any situation and are small enough to go anywhere you need them. Let's take a look at the features that are shared across both meters. To measure voltage, turn the rotary switch to either the AC or DC voltage position. Once you've set the switch to the correct position, insert the test leads into the voltage and comm jacks. Connect the leads to your circuit and the measured voltage will be shown on the display. For resistance, turn the rotary switch to the resistance position. On the DDM450, resistance mode is in its own rotary switch position, while on the 453, resistance mode is in the multifunction position. The default mode is resistance. After inserting the leads into the ohms and comm jacks, connect the leads to the circuit and the measured resistance will be shown on the display. To measure diodes, move the rotary switch to the multifunction position. On the 450, the default mode is diode mode. On the 453, press function once to switch to diode mode. Insert the test leads into the diode and comm jacks, and then connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode of the diode under test. The display will show the forward biased voltage drop. To measure continuity, move the rotary switch to the multifunction position. Press function once on the 450 and twice on the 453 to switch to continuity mode. Insert the test leads into the ohms and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. If the measured resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. For current measurement, move the rotary switch to the appropriate current position. The correct position will depend on what the expected current to be measured is. For current measurements below 400 milliamps, insert the red lead into the milliamp jack and the black lead into the comm jack. For current measurements above 400 milliamps, move the red lead to the 10 amp jack. Press the function button to switch between AC and DC current. Once you've connected the leads in series to the circuit under test, the display will show the measured current. The non-contact voltage feature is also available on both meters. In any mode, hold the NCV button and move the top of the meter towards the voltage source. If the meter detects AC voltage, the meter's NCV indicator will flash and the buzzer will beep. To turn on the backlight on the 450, press the backlight button. The backlight will stay on for approximately 15 seconds. Press the button again to turn the backlight off manually. On the 453, hold the hold backlight button to turn on the backlight. Again, the backlight will stay on for about 15 seconds. Hold the button again to turn off the backlight. Finally, the last feature that is shared on both meters is the display hold function. Pressing the hold button in any mode will keep the current reading on the display. Pressing the button again will release the hold and return the display to normal. Let's take a look at the features that are only available on one meter or the other. The DDM450 has one feature unique to it, which is its 1.5 and 9 volt battery test. Depending on the battery to be tested, move the rotary switch to the appropriate battery test position. Insert the leads into the voltage and comm jacks and connect the red lead to the positive terminal and the black lead to the negative terminal of the battery under test. The display will show the measured voltage. The DDM453 has several features unique to it. To measure capacitance on the 453, turn the rotary switch to the capacitance position. Insert the test leads into the input and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The display will show the measured capacitance. 
For frequency measurement, move the rotary switch to the Hertz position. Insert the leads into the input and comm jacks and connect them to the circuit under test. The display will show the measured frequency. To switch to duty cycle, while connected to a circuit in frequency mode, press the Hertz duty cycle button and the display will switch to duty cycle mode. Press the Hertz duty cycle button again to switch back to frequency mode. Alternatively, while in AC voltage mode, press the Hertz duty cycle button to display the frequency or duty cycle of the signal under test. Press the button in duty cycle mode to switch back to AC voltage display. The final unique feature on the DDM453 is temperature using the included Type K thermocouple. Turn the rotary switch to the temp position. Press function to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Insert the positive end of the thermocouple into the temperature jack and the negative end into the comm jack. Touch the tip of the thermocouple to the object under test and the display will show its surface temperature. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the DDM 450 and 453. For more information on these or any of our other products, please visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.